Hi, I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for February Virgo. Now, your overall month ahead. There's the full moon this month on the 25th is in your sign. So uh, this can be an unsettling time because the full moon energy can be a, a, a little erratic. I mean, it's called a, the, it's called a, um, a lunar because that comes from lunatics. So although it can be a little unsettling and just throw you off balance, it does highlight to you anything that needs to be brought into closure in your life and it provides you with the opportunity to uh, look at anything that's not working and close it off so you can start afresh. So, um, you know, from chaos comes order and that's really one of the, uh, you know, the ways that we evolve in life. So, um, you know, if you're feeling a little bit unsettled, it means that change is taking place, so it's not a bad thing. Now, your career and money. Jupiter sitting in your 10th house still right, right, right up until the middle of the year. The 10th house is all about career and business, and it also represents... Um, the, your purpose in life and the, the difference that you want to make in the world through your career. So um, it did come out of its retrograde phase on the 30th. That's Jupiter and it, it is going to right now. So it's almost like anything that's been on the back burner or going a bit slow, now you can get like a green light ahead for business matters, okay? Now, uh, on a financial level, uh, you can also get the go-ahead with finances this month as well, and your faith can be restored. That hard work does actually pay, okay? Now, love and romance, let's have a look there. So, of course, business has your attention, but with the seventh house activity, uh, love will also be there knocking on your heart and wanting your attention as well. So the seventh house is all to do with relationships, partnerships, um, overall, you know, love, intimate uh, connections. So for, if you, for couples and if you're dating, this is the time that you can reassess where you are and how you move forward. For singles, put extra effort into uh, your personal life. I mean, when you put the effort out there, then it says that you're inviting love into your life, okay? And that's what you need to do at the moment to just capitalize on this energy. And my angel advice for you for the month is you are the director of your very own personal screenplay of your life. So the choices of Virgo are yours to make and yours to make alone. Have a great month. Love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.